Alright, hey everyone, Wanderbots here, and welcome to Pray for the Gods. Uh, if you're wondering why I said that, screw Bethesda, they forced them to change the title of this game. So if you're looking up this game afterwards, it's P-R-A-E-Y for the Gods. Uh, originally it was just P-R-E-Y, but then Bethesda's like, no, that's too close to our game, Pray. Uh, I don't know. We were discussing how it would be like if Star Trek sued... Star Wars. Star Wars, Stargate, Starship, Troopers, yeah. Starcraft. You can't have anything that starts with star. Yep. It's ours. The stars are ours. I mean, that would actually be a really cool, like, court case-ish thing, but like, I don't know. Anyway, so uh, this game is kind of like one part open world survival, one part uh, Shadow of the Colossus, from what I've seen and heard and experienced and whatever. Uh, and the idea of that is really cool to me. Um, it's also made by, like, three people, so there are going to be bugs, and probably performance issues, and a whole host of other things, but it looks pretty sweet. Did someone carve those? Or are they frozen beings? Like, giants? Mm, I mean, it looks kind of ribbish there on the right. Mm -hmm. But who, well, no, actually, that might just be how they're designed? Yeah, like the end of the rib cage is. Yeah, like they just have off. open stomachs. Oh. Yep, female protagonist, I believe. Mm -hmm. Not that it. I don't think it matters. So I would not be hanging out in the water. It seems like a ship around. graveyard, and maybe she's been washed ashore as well. Mm -hmm. I like her design. Mm -hmm. Nice and modest. I was completely unrelated game. Uh, recently, they put out the uh, the original concept art for a game called Ion Maiden, which oh, is oh interesting. Uh, which is a Duke Nukem style game mm -hmm. with a female protagonist, which um, <laughs> the '90s concept art is uh, not great. Uh oh. Like, straight up, just bazongas everywhere. And, like, oh, people... No. Yeah, pe people were, uh... Oh, what would I say? People were, were saying how, like, they miss some of those designs or, like, people are way too sensitive, you know. Uh, modern designs are, like, way too chaste. And I'm like, no, no, no. Like, this is practical. Okay, maybe not fully practical. We need, like, a little bit more, like, um... You need something to cover your yeah, arms. Yeah, she needs some sleeves. I bought a coat for Laura Croft in the first Tomb Raider game. Yeah, because if you were... Just so she wasn't, like, freezing-looking all are, the time. Are you sure that it doesn't hide, or is it just her skin open to the elements? That's her skin. No, it is. It is shiny-like yeah. skin. The run cycle's a little choppy. Not bad. But yeah, I'm definitely going to be like, oh hey, that's that's a thing. Mm -hmm. Oh hey, look, Tomb Raider. Well, let's take a look at these caverns. So now, Is that it looks like, like they're praying to a giant god that's spewing forth. I don't know if it's snow or wind or energy or souls, and it looks like here they. They've actually... Like, shackled something down shackled to pray to it. And forced it to pray to something else. What is it praying to? Uh, Some weird... Oh, no, they're sacrificing people. They're tossing a dude off, it looks like. See how, see how the one at the edge is falling backwards towards it? Oh. And its mouth might be open? Oh, no, that makes sense. Yeah, they might be just, like, feeding people to the thing. So, before people ask, I've never actually played, um... Uh, I've never played Shadow of the Colossus. So, I actually have... Uh... Wait, you're being a gong? Yep. But... Uh, I've never played Shadow of the Colossus, so I actually can't draw any comparisons. I'd like to, and it might be, uh... Oops. Jump. It'll probably be one of those that I. I noticed uh, a lot of games using. Load up at some point. The upper button is jump lately, I don't and like I'm not it. used to it. Isn't it typically the low button? Yeah, but they're using that for sprint. Oh, got a grapple. I hook. always use one of the triggers for sprint. 
quickly. What? <laughs> oh, a grappling wow. hook. That is immediate. Hello, we are here. So th I think there is actually some like light uh, gear crafting that you can you can do. Yeah. Oh uh, yeah. So you can actually design stuff. I think I almost kickstarted this game, but didn't because I'm a dummy. I should have. I don't remember what the differences are. Oi. I like the inclusion of the grappling hook. That might, Grapp that should be pretty fun. Yeah, it's like the Twilight Princess grappling hook. Yeah, I, that was something that shocked me that it wasn't in Breath of the Wild. I really liked how you had, could have two at once and essentially Spider-Man swing. What does she have at her hip? Is it a quiver? Yeah. Yeah, it, it, it looks like, look a, like quiver. a scabbard. It's a it's a quiver. Yeah, for arrows. I think we do get a bow or something later. I like the uh, snow deformation. That's a nice touch. I also really like the camera distance. Mm -hmm. Um, you know, if, when I was in Portland, people were talking about the claustrophobic camera in Hellblade. Oh, right. And how it like stays really close up to her. It looked like there's a whole lot of benefit. In to a way, though, yeah. the Hellblade camera was akin to the Warframe Warframe or God camera. of War uh, right behind Warframe, your character Warframe zooms out a little bit when you're really going but yeah it, it hugs you pretty close um, and like and I was actually going to say that with God of War and with Hellblade there's been a, a lot of uh, focus on Norse mythology lately yes uh, I think it's because it's a kind of cool mythological um what would I say? A mythos. Yeah, it's a really cool mythos that kind of has only been lightly touched on, but most games have kind of ignored it lately. Yeah, I I find that in school, they tended to, to teach Greek, Greek. The Greek myths. But they, yeah, I, I had to... Which is interesting, though, because not a whole lot of... Except for the God of War games, I can't actually think of a whole lot of other games that really touched on it. There was that two-human game, but it was garbage. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I mean, Hades, most recently. Yeah. Yeah, Hades is pretty good. That is probably my favorite depiction, depiction of Greek gods and goddesses, with the exception of... Well, Hades himself from the uh, the Disney games or games uh, Disney movies. <laughs> so I was thinking of Kingdom Hearts. Yeah. I think the reason why Greek is taught in school is because if you read a lot of English literature, poets and writers. Whoa. Too human was Norse, wasn't it? Oh yeah, it was. You were playing as Balder, not uh, someone else. <laughs> oh God. Well, this is the guy whose stomach they were worshipping. Yeah. Oh, yeah, they were feeding him things. How can you tell? Because he has a big mouth. His goat feet. You think he would have used his hands to brush you off at this point? Are you gonna oh, I go love the design for the him. The center of his body is a spiral staircase. Yeah, this is cool. I was kind of hoping I could climb onto one of his arms, but we might have to do that in another one. Oh. Anyway, this is Super Shadow of the Colossus. We should play that. Mm -hmm. Probably after we move. I don't want to commit to too much. We have so many infinite. Wait, a gong? Oh no, hold on tight. He's just trying to shake you off. Keep chiming it. Oh no. Is this a essentially a tap mini game? Yeah, so he's the trying to shake are, me off. The runes are lighting up. You have to yeah. strike it three times, probably. Uh-huh. And is there another one on his shoulder? Yeah. 
He does not like me doing this. What's the frame rate, everybody? Just out of curiosity. With a game like this, it can be a little dot, uh, dicey. Oh, 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 oh. Is your stamina waning? Is yeah, that it's, why it's waning real bad. Uh, he's he's shaking me off. Okay. Yeah, you can probably oh, stand he's, on his he's, hip. Yeah, he's got a grapple point on his butt. <laughs> It looks, it looks like, like a shield. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It looks like there's multiple paths up these guys. Which is kind of a neat uh pick. It's fine. That's good. You know, this actually reminds me. Did you see that what was it called? Extinction? I mean, I believe so. It was a game where I was supposedly or I was supposed to be like killing these giant ogre things. Um you know, kind of in this manner. Mm -hmm. Oh, he's shaking me again. I wish his shakes were a little bit more, like, overtly vigorous. Because mm -hmm. he has kind of light shakes, and then he's got, like, heavier shakes. Yeah, so going back to the whole, the reason why Greek is taught in school, it's because... Uh, it formed the basis of a lot of our, our, uh, well, in, our literature. Well, yeah, in English literature, especially with, um, plays... Shakespeare, for instance, refers quite often to Greek mythology. When you're describing love, they might say, you know, oh, Eros has struck me with an arrow. You know, th things of like that, that kind of nature. So. But He's this, actively trying to reach me now. That romanticism, though, didn't that come about, say, Renaissance, post-Renaissance? Baroque. The Baroque era had a lot of it, didn't it? Hmm? Because pretty much the only thing that painters really dedicated their time to outside of biblical illustration would have been mythological illustration, specifically Greek myth. And, well, and Roman. You know? Yeah. Sorry. Mildly focused. Because if you look at our our art history, where's this last is one? Pretty obsessed with Greek and Roman mythology. There it is. No, 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 no. Balls. Yeah. It hurt you, but it didn't kill you. A fall like that would have broken your legs, typically. Yeah. Yeah, she just like randomly decided to let go of his his fur and just fling herself off. And I kind of like the gong. Uh, so, uh, Shadow of the Colossus, you would stab a glowing spot on the you Colossus. Would, you would strike a soul crystal or a vulnerable spot. Yeah, it was, it was like a weak point. Mm -hmm. You know what I wish that they had with these? If you strike certain spots, the weak points, an arm falls off, or... Because yeah. these things look like they're made out of stone. Yeah. As opposed to being... I know in Shadow organic. of the Colossus, at, at the very least, when you would, like, damage the weak point, the fight would change slightly. Mm -hmm. I want to say that was how it works. Oh. He's throwing his head back. Yep. He's a massive skull. On He's the face. creepy. Like design-wise, this is this guy is worrying. Mm -hmm. I'd have to go back down his head for a second. He is bucking. He might fling me off, but I've got an okay. Ma no, 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 no. Oh. Ha-ha! Ha-ha! You can grapple the ground? Apparently so! It also looks like I might get my HP back by just, like, walking around. No, I don't. Mm -mm. Oh, that's fine. One you more hit gets him. But yeah. an or herbs. So if I'm, uh... If, if I'm in... <laughs> if I'm flinged, uh, flying off into the sunset, aim for the ground and grapple. Ha-ha! <laughs> Oh, interesting. Um, your stamina... 
Uh, when you get back to the ground, it comes back. Well, yeah, when you stand, it comes back. So I can stand right here and regain some. Oh, yeah. But because I'm injured, it comes back slower. I was wondering about that. Oh. Oh. The other thing of note. Mm -hmm. We're getting hungry and cold. Yeah, I noticed a frost starting to form around the sides of the screen. Yeah, we were freezing to death there. Maybe he'll lend us some fur. Yeah, look at him. I know. Oh, oh. It'd be odd sacrificing people to him if he doesn't have a stomach to properly house them. What? And taking on peculiar shapes. Yeah, looks like it. Uh, I'm gonna clean that up. Can I eat it? <laughs> I think it turned to stone. Does 10 second rule work for the human if it's midwinter? Refrigerated, right? Just gonna bring you back to my pantry and... <laughs> Look, winter's tough around here. Got got to save up. Human humans good meat. Imagine her waking up and having deep tooth marks in her. But ah, no. Hopefully the hide. There's a hole in my boot. It's probably a benevolent wolf. This place is just steeped in magic. Oh, and you've defeated the first of five? Yep, looks like five. A bird. An eye. A and a couple more horned demon things. Yeah. Wait, your character woke up? We didn't see her get up. Yeah, I feel like some of these cutscenes probably need to be reconfigured. Mm-hmm. Because what happened to the wolf? I would have liked it if she woke up, the wolf looked at her, she acknowledged it and was afraid at first, but then the wolf walks away towards the glowing skull, and then she looks at it and then sees this. Maybe just a little bit more cinematography. Yeah. But also, this is a... a Free man game. Mm -hmm. It looks like there might be room for more. Oh, so it's just pointing you to the next one. Most likely. Mm -hmm. It'd be neat if they actually add, like, a lot more to this game. But chances are they're actually... This game isn't going to be that deep. Unfortunately. Okay, so what do we got? So we can upgrade our equipment. But we need... I see, that's what the stars are. You need rope, hide... Fire. Yeah, so we gotta kill things. Uh, let's see. Oh, hey, it looks hungry. like I'm full again. Mm -hmm. uh, let's see. I don't have any weapons. There's something... There's like a plus over here in the top right, but it doesn't look like it can do anything with that. And you found one of three relics? Like, kind of, the, that gold statuette. Yeah. I get the distinct feeling I am not supposed to go down there. It seems like an... Im Odd spot to have just been randomly dragged to. I, I hope they expand that with more... Okay. It's a large retractable door. Yeah, you can see because I'm near the uh, fire. The flames, you get a plus to the... Yeah, so we should probably go track down some And it looks like there's sleep, critters. too. 
Do you see that? Oh, yeah. I have no idea how to sleep. You probably need shelter. A good place to, well, lay your head down. Wait, is that a person? Or, wait, no. Uh, oh. And we were just here. Is... Oh. We have a he, sailcloth from the dude. Is that a dead person, though? Or is it... Yep. Oh. Uh, another map point? Yep. Man, this game would be... Uh, there we go. This game would be rad with, like, uh, a bigger budget, like, if they wanted to make another one. Mm-hmm. Because, like, I get the feeling this isn't going... This is going to be pretty close to what the game looks like uh, when it's done. What's this? Oh, melee weapons. What was it? A club? Club. Yeah, so that's for going after the little guys. I'm sure there's going to be some. But yeah, Breath of the Wild means Shadow of the Colossus. Yeah, like, I would I would be so happy if, uh, honestly, if Zelda tackled the Shadow of the Colossus formula. So you're finding another a number of corpses, and they show signs of being slain by other humans. Well, maybe or not humans. Maybe not Something humans. capable of firing a Arrows. bow. Yeah. Climb this? Oh. Hmm. Interesting. I wonder how much exploration I can do. Did some people freeze in place? Can you look at that one down there on the left? Uh, you mean all, oh, of, all these of them? Many people? Oh. Yes. A number of them have arrows. Oh no. Some of them are coming back. Maybe just the standing ones are cursed. No. She was sitting down though. No, I think it's the standing ones. Oh, maybe. Not very threatening yet. <laughs> <laughs> they kind of do the whole, like, Ruga Booga die. Oh, no, that one was kneeling. Yeah. Hmm. I wonder if these were the creature's worshippers? That would be interesting. If the people that lived in this land assembled, like, divided themselves into clans that worshipped the different creatures and would constantly war with one another and Maybe their societies were about, say, capturing people from other clans to feed to their gods. Mm-hmm. Hmm? It happened in some ancient societies that way. Oh. Actually, wasn't that what happened in Hellblade as well? They are describing how the, the Vikings were capturing some Celts and... Sacrificing them to their gods. I like the gathering food situation. I almost kind of wish this game had more of a, uh, like, deeper survival mechanics. Like, uh, I don't know. You were playing Subnautica recently, yeah? Yeah. So, I assume you liked it. Mm-hmm. How cool would it be to have something kind of like that, where you're like running around in like Breath of the Wild style uh, world? You have a home base and things to build. Yeah, so it's like the world looks and functions like the Breath of the Wild one, but you build a home base on your own. There's there's no town. Maybe there's maybe there's a town that you find at some point, but definitely not in the beginning, and it's not easy to reach. Or maybe you have to build it yourself. I have no idea. I guess I just gotta get. Pugilistic here. Owie. Oh, so your club finally broke. Yeah. My club is not great. But, like... They're I... slow. They're slow zombies. Yeah, they are. There was a hookshot on the wall over there. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, you uh... can upgrade the sailcloth. I want to upgrade her clothes first so she doesn't get super cold. Um, but yeah, so... World like uh, Breath of the Wild, you run around, there's small monster camps and stuff with like tons of resources that you can nab occasionally, but it's kind of risky because everything, everything is strong and can can fight you oh so you don't necessarily need shield no these are 
These are just, uh, so the shields are, are like quick lock on points. Mm-hmm. Wanna open that? Trying. Uh-oh. What's that in red? Is that your weapon? Uh, if I had a guess, I'd say my hookshot's about to break. <gasps> your hookshot can break? Yeah, it looks like there's a durability system in this game. For a mechanical item, like a hook, hook shot? Because the club I could see breaking, but... I mean, maybe if the chain... I'm trying to figure to out how to unequip the thing. Because I can't... You can melee attack. Uh, joypad controls. Unequip weapon. There we go. Ah. That saved you. Yeah, I gotta figure that out. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know about durability on the hookshot. Like weapons, weapons. Okay, I can get behind. Hookshot. I don't know. We'll see. Okay. Um. Yeah. I'm pressing all the wrong buttons here, trying to climb this. Because yeah, I'm so used to A being. You know, ascend, jump, climb. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now I can bust this box open with my fists! There we go. Okay, we get some booze. Mm, those have to be hookshot in, too. Yeah. I mean, it looks like it's worth it. Plus, I have a spare hookshot. You do? Okay. Looks like you have to drop. So I can break those, but it doesn't look like it actually gets me anything. And there it goes. Mm -hmm. That looks like it should be enough to get to at least wherever you need to up here. Yeah. So there was there was a reason to come up. We get another one of these. Whatever they're used for. I've got... Two out, Two out of three. three. It might increase my stamina or something. Or level... Uh, there's no levels in this game, though. Are there? I think it's entirely equipment-based. Uh, and depending on, on like, what you've upgraded, it gives you different abilities, effectively. So do you have a home or a crafting station? Uh, well, crafting-wise, I actually just do it from here. Oh. You can... You can already add to them. Oh, one just increases your speed. Yeah. And the other one increases all your wait, did the hands? So boots increase your speed and but upgrading this doesn't do anything. This just increases your durability and your um your cold resistance. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna put a star on that just so we don't freeze as much. Might be a stupid idea. More items? Or no, that's a raven. Bird creature. Look like there's anything else there. So we should probably start adventuring. I don't know. If you drop down there, I don't think it's coming back. Coming this back. is a considerable world, actually. Mm hmm. Looking at this. Well, look meat. in the sky. Where is that beam of light? There. There. That's the next creature. Okay. It seems like there's a camp. There's fires down there. Yeah, so we probably want to go down and, and then to the, the right. Because right. we've got a map here. Map is maybe a little bit uh, unhelpful. Well, looks like there's the pillars. You really do get some speed on that. <laughs> the funny thing is, I used to try to do that as a kid. Can that even work? Uh, not- I don't think so. Not with this, no. No. Oof, that is hard on your stamina. 
Yeah, fortunately you can bring it up at the last moment so you don't. Yeah, I like to do that for a quick descent. It's probably dumb. I hear something kind of like going wee wee in the background. I bet there's a. Do you hear it? Yeah, yeah there I it is. It. There you are. Another yep, statuette. There's a club. Yeah. So this is three out of three at this point. Yeah, it looks like you can put a plus to it. I think maybe it increases all your stats. Let's see. Can you select the plus? Uh. Because I think that's the plus for you. Oh, there it is. Yeah. So finding all of those gets a stamina. That's helpful. And that gets us a treasure map. I really like this. The the exploration element comboed with um an axe? Yep, an axe. I can cut trees down. Probably to craft do you already have a bow though? Yeah. But maybe you'd craft clubs and bows and other things out of wood. Can you find a home though? A place to Oh Timber You have to chop those up smaller still? Maybe, yeah. Mm -hmm. There you go. Creates bundles. Okay, so I can use those for crafting. Or firewood. Oh, that makes sense. Mm-hmm. I wonder how death, freezing to death, and so on and so forth works in this game. I wouldn't want to try it. Hey, is that an animal? Like a boar? The boar. It's a pig. Yeah, it's gonna be tough to... You have berries. They look like lingam berries, don't they? 